Suspected bank robbers behind bars tonight. Police say the man was armed when he barricaded himself inside the bank with hostages. It happened at the Citizens Bank on Canton Road, just north of Cherry Hill. That's where 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell is joining us live. And Alan, we're told this ended peacefully. That's right, Dave. This hostage situation ended peacefully around 7.45 tonight here at the Citizens Bank behind me here on Canton Center Road. Now, you can still see there's Canton PD out here. They're joined by the FBI investigating after that attempted robbery that happened around 3.30. We're told no injuries were reported. However, for witnesses who saw what happened today, they say this is something you don't see in Canton. You just don't see the stuff in Canton. You know, I saw the cops out here with long guns. 3.30 p.m., Canton police received a call of a bank robbery in progress. I guess it's becoming more of a common thing here. We just had one a couple weeks ago. In seconds, officers and SWAT surrounded the Citizens Bank. Witness interviews revealed one male entered the bank with a handgun and announced a robbery. The suspected robber also taking several people hostage. Members of the Western Wayne County Special Operations Team, negotiations, hostage negotiations team, along with the FBI, assisted in negotiating with the suspect, resulting in all the hostages being released in a peaceful surrender of the suspect. The hostage situation lasting more than three hours. Hostage negotiators finally ending the situation just before 8 o'clock. You hate to see somebody in that position to have to do things like this and resort to arriving the bank. And again, uh, Canton PD and the FBI continue to investigate this attempted robbery and hostage situation. They are expected to be out here probably for the next few hours or so. As for that suspect, he is now behind bars. Reporting live tonight in Canton, I'm Alan Campbell, Action News. All right, thanks, Alan. At number 